So E.T. saved my life once that I'm aware of. Possibly more, but only one time that I'm aware of. I was coming up a uh, mountain grade in San Diego. I'm not going to reveal the precise coordinates as I normally do because it's been made clear to me that they still operate there and they don't want a lot of people looking around to try to find them. And I respect that. So no coordinates will be given. And as I came up this mountain road, on one side there was a steep drop to the left and to my right there was a ravine. I passed out for two reasons. One, I did not get much sleep the night before, a couple of hours, and two, uh, fumes were leaking into the car. So, between the two of those, I, I knew I was going to go to sleep, so I was looking for a place to pull over. There was none by the time I passed out. I woke up wide awake, traveling along the side of the cliff, sideways. The car started going towards the road, with the driver's side closest to the road. I felt very weightless for some reason. I was not falling fast enough to feel weightless, but everything in the car was floating. It was weightless. The car came to a gentle stop, and as soon as it did, I heard a voice say, Are you all right in there? Well, uh, yeah. But, like, how did you get here so fast? And I popped out the window, and there were two young men, and one of them said to me, well, we work around here. Which I totally accepted without question. <laughs> Another example of E.T. mind control. Also, they were wearing uniforms from foot to neck, covering their hands, a single piece, uniforms that were dark brown, uh, not as dark as the color of their hair. The uniforms were shimmering somehow, as if they were alive, made out of nanomaterials, if I had to guess. Certainly no kind of material we have here today. It's a material from a future time or another place in time, another planet. I made no note of that though at the time because like I would say I was under mind control and they prevented me from really understanding what their uniforms were all about or that they were even ETs at the time I just thought they were just two humans I got the thought that I had to go around the side of my car and look for something which is very odd because I don't I don't know why that thought occurred to me at all Probably they interjected it into my head. I went around the side of the car after excusing myself and came back within four or five seconds because I realized whatever it is, I'm not going to find it. It's too much of a mess. It could be anywhere between the time I passed out and where the car landed. They were gone. Vanished. Nowhere for them to run to. Nowhere to hide. I'm assuming they went back to where they work. <laughs> And uh, today, every time I pass that place, I mentally think, hey guys that work around here, thank you. Thanks a lot. Okay, that's all I have to say for now. I'll uh, put the details down below from my book, which go deeper into the story. And uh, I'll have to make sure to re redact any, any location clues before I post it. Okay. Have a good one. Bye.